Hey everyone, Hanul here from Cobalt, and today we'll be taking a look at the newly released Modern Advance Find. The new Modern Advance Find was launched in April of 2022 and replaces the classic Advance Find functionality that we are all accustomed to in our system. With the new Modern Advance Find, any table in a model-driven app is now accessible through search. There are two main benefits to the new Modern Advance Find. The first benefit is that now you can easily search for specific views. This is really helpful if your CRM has been around for a while and you have created or shared a number of personal views throughout the years. The second benefit is that now you can also manage the views with the new view management experience. But before we dive into a quick demo of the new Modern Advanced Find, let's take a look at how we can enable it or disable it in your system. Microsoft turned on the Modern Advanced Find by default and without much warning. So many people are wondering where their trusty old Advanced Find button went. Though there is no current date set where Microsoft is going to force you to use it, it is turned on by default for online environments as of now. Depending on how this initial release goes, Microsoft may deprecate the classic view altogether, so it may be a good idea to get started using the Modern Advance Find now. However, if you want to revert back to the classic Advance Find, you will need to go into the Power Platform Admin Center. Navigate to the wanted environment from the Power Platform Admin Center and click on the settings icon. From the search bar, search for search and click into it. Scroll down a bit and you will see the Advanced Find Options section. With a switch that will turn the Modern Advanced Find functionality on or off. Now that we went over how to control if the Modern Advanced Find is on or off, let's actually see what Modern Advanced Find looks like if you decide to use it. Let's look at the updated view selector first. With Modern Advanced Find on, you'll notice the view selector dropdown has a new look. Both user and system views are combined into a single list, but views created by a specific user is marked with a small user icon. Additionally, there is a new Manage and Share Views option on the very bottom of the view selector, where users can access, add, remove, and view permissions for other users. As mentioned before, if Modern Advanced Find is on, it replaces the classic Advanced Find and the funnel icon will no longer be available on the banner. So you might be wondering, where do I go to use the new Advanced Find? The Modern Advanced Find is now accessed by clicking on the main search bar and clicking the search for rows in a table using Advanced Filters option on the very bottom. This launches the new Modern Advanced Find which will appear on the right side of your screen. From here, you can select the table, also known as Entity, you want to find. An important note here is that the tables must be a part of the app to be available in the list. So the list you see below will differ depending on the related app. Going back to our list of tables, let's say we are looking for a contact who has an active status reason and is located in Virginia. It's as simple as clicking on contacts and a familiar query will appear. Let's go ahead and fill out the details. Status equals active and state equals Virginia. The results will show in a new filtered view. From this view, you can add or remove columns by clicking edit columns or modify the query by clicking Edit Filters. Let's go ahead and drill down for active contacts who are in Virginia with active memberships. Add Related Entity will be used here to search for contacts who have membership equaling contains data. Let's go ahead and make sure it only filters for memberships that are active as well. Just like the classic advanced find, you can group each query line as ands and ors as needed. 
This can be done by clicking Add Group, but remember that the query already defaults to an AND relationship for multiple query lines. But by clicking Add Group, you can also add an OR option to the multiple query lines, such as contacts who live in Virginia or Maryland. Let's take a quick look at editing columns. This allows you to add and remove columns from the view of results. The interface is friendly and easy to use. Let's go ahead and add street address and city to our view of contacts. Click add columns and select the wanted fields. To reorder the columns, simply drag and drop the fields into your wanted order. Once done, click apply. Once the advanced find results and columns of the views are looking good, you can quickly save this query as a new view by clicking on the view dropdown and clicking save as new view. Once saved, you can click on manage and share views to set the view as default, share, edit info, assign, delete, and more. Finally, let's compare the modern advanced find to the classic advanced find. These should help you evaluate if the new modern advanced find will be more effective for your Dynamics environment. As mentioned before, the modern advanced find will most likely eventually replace the classic advanced find, so the bulk of functionality is the same. I've even more of a user interface update. With the new modern advanced find, users can do the following. Explore any table in an app through a more structured search and filters, easily edit the columns and filters of the advanced find queries, search for and find views easily with the newly enhanced view selector. View management is more centralized and the interface is easier to use. Views can now be hidden and reordered. Personalized views lists are now accessible within all your apps and devices, both in online and offline modes. Some cons or reasons to consider continuing to use the classic advanced find include the familiar interface, a dedicated advanced find button on the top banner, the classic advanced find containing all entities or tables in the entire system on a centralized module whereas the new modern advanced find will display only the related entities from a specific app. So now that you know the pros and cons of the modern advanced find, how to use its functionalities, and how to toggle it on or off, you can now decide if you'd like to implement this new change or continue using the classic advanced find until it is eventually replaced. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.